one and only at 5 a.m. Hello, friends. Good morning. It is currently 5.35 in the morning, and I just got to Orange Theory. So, this will be interesting. It's a 6 a.m. class on a Saturday. Don't ask why. Actually, I'll tell you why. I have a bridal shower at 10 a.m., and there's a class at 6, 7.20, and 9.15. And I could not do the 7.20 because there was a six people wait. And the 9 a.m. one, I would have not made it to the bridal shower on time. So Erica and I have made the executive decision of going to the 6 a.m. one, which was a mistake because both of us didn't get home until midnight yesterday. So it will be quite interesting. She's running late right now because she woke up late and I just got here. So I'm about to chug my pre-workout. This is a 45 minute class. So this will be very interesting. Um, so I'm excited. And then I got new shoes. So I'm going to test those out and see how they work. But I'll talk to you guys after class. We just got done with class and it was great. I think I found my perfect combo, which is a protein bar and pre-workout for a 6 a.m. class. I'm like so full of energy right now on five hours of sleep. I can do a lot. So I'm gonna go home, shower, and then I'll talk to you guys after that. Okay, friends, when the theme of the shower, so I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I'm going to a bridal shower and I'm going to pick up Erica right now so we can go shopping afterwards because the shower is only going to be like an hour. And the theme of the shower is breakfast at Tiffany's. And it said on the invitation, please wear your uh, little black dress and some pearls. Well, I don't have pearls. This is the closest that I have to pearls. Um, my only black dress is this old ass uh, Asus dress that I got like pre-pandemic. I mean, I've had it since like 2018, okay? If I lift my arms up, it's short. Uh, the dress that I actually wanted to wear is a bit inappropriately short and I could probably lose a couple pounds. It's a super cute dress, but I just, it's not, not today. But, so the theme of the shower is breakfast at Tiffany's. I am wearing, it's 45 degrees outside. I'm not going with bare legs. So I'm wearing black tights, a black dress, and black Doc Martens loafers. You know those chunky ones? So I look more like Wednesday Adams, besides the hair. Like, that's the only bright thing on my head. And the theme is breakfast at Tiffany's. So let's just say I don't blend in very well when it comes to thematic stuff so it'll be interesting uh last time i showed up to this bridal shower i was extremely overdressed um so i was trying to keep it very casual this time but i'm definitely not meeting the breakfast at tiffany's vibes so we'll see i'm gonna go pick up erica and then her and i are gonna head out and i'll talk to you guys later bye concentrating i was concentrating did i scare you a couple weeks ago and I'm really happy I did I hesitated for a second but all right quick update I changed into civilian clothes she's no longer when <laughs> wearing my um Canadian tuxedo because that's been my go-to lately also these earrings look so expensive yes they do but they were 20 bucks and i picked up erica who was waiting patiently for me at starbucks mm -hmm. and we're gonna go to nordstrom rack tj maxx marshall's maybe even salvation army depending how we feel you know, it's funny i was thinking that myself like let's go to salvation army so we're taking you with us you're welcome yes i'm looking for a black bag but like i don't want silver accent because i never wear silver but these are super cute by Rebecca Minko. Look how cute this bag is. 
This is so cute. Also, her bag on the cover. Another cool find. Look at this bag. Okay, guys, let me let me show you the bag that I want but can't have because it's not practical. It's so pretty though. Look at this Chloe. I'm obsessed with it. It's huge, but it's like such a summer bag. Would be perfect for a trip to Italy. And it's $280. Oh, it's the coolest thing. Erica just said you update first, but there is nothing to update on because we didn't buy anything because there's nothing to buy. I'm actually proud of us. They're yeah, I showed some stuff that I thought was cool, but like we didn't really need it and wasn't really hitting it. So we're gonna go get lunch and continue the search. Did you not like the mint sweater? Uh, no, the way it fit, the cardigan was cool, but it's like $120 for that cardigan. Like I'm not like in love with it. it. I so, get it, it's too much yeah. money for something you don't love. So we're gonna go eat lunch first. Alright friends, um, we just got our TJ Maxx, spent there a whole, I would say we, we were there for like an hour, yeah. but I got a, this car was awfully close to me, I got nothing for myself besides a luggage, I did get a luggage because it was a great price, it was a cow pack, and it's a cute color, yeah, and she we have something one, off of like, out of neutral, we have only one, and I we're going to Italy, so we're trying to pack light with just the thingies. So I got a yellow cow pack. I'll show you at home. And then I got some gifts um, because my sister-in-law's birthday coming up. So I got her some stuff that she's into. And yeah, and now we're gonna go thrifting. All right, a thrift store. This is where we belong. A mood bag, like this is a mood. So, I can't get my words out. Um, Save. Gosh, it's been so the cool. thrift store was wasn't a, win. a bus. It was a bus for me. It was the bus really for bus. Erica. It because like... Erica. So there is this green bag, okay? We've seen it multiple times. Multiple times. I mean, it's been there for months. And today we decided to take a look at it. And Erica was like, you know what? I love it. And then we Google searched it and it retails for $325 and Erica just bought it for like $29. $29. Well, no, cause it was 30% off. Oh, was it? Then it was even cheaper. Okay, well look at this beauty. She just needs to be cleaned. Look at guys, it's a vintage coach. I would say circa mm, like 2000. Yeah, this is for sure. Seven. Like, but look at that brown and that and green so suede. Definitely oh, have some cleaning to do with this. But like the leather is in perfect condition. I'm gonna condition it. I remember when this bag was brand new to Coach, and I loved it. Then. Damn, you're old. I know. I'm just kidding. Uh, and I just I adore it. So I'm really excited about it. It was time. It was time. So we're gonna see if we can clean her up and get her back to back it's to life. It's a little state. So excited. apparently you can use uh, white vinegar or alcohol, like rubbing alcohol on the suede, and it won't leave a mark. So We'll see. But that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're tapped out. Are we tapped out? Yeah, I'm tapped yeah, out. Yeah, we're tapped out. So we're gonna go home and lay flat. Yes. All right, so let's do a quick TJ Maxx haul since I got home. Um, Didn't get a lot. Got this little cutie bag for my friend, uh, for my little sister-in-law. I got her the Ariana Grande perfume because she likes sweet smells and this one smells really good and then I got her a little mushroom necklace with a flower in it because she likes that mushroom theme and then I got her a Luna bracelet because she's really into like bracelet stacks right now and she likes all the like hippie stuff and then I got her this really cute candle strawberry pop oh my god it smells delicious and it's like a little pop super cute and then for my friend i got her i want to mail her a little package so i got her this oh this is sealed i got her this uh it's actually a night mask from tony moly um cats perfect and she really likes cats which i just thought about that i didn't even realize there were cats i got her this bird's bee triple 
um like tinted balm we have they don't have i don't think they have that those brands in pol they have the brands in polar but i don't think she's ever tried them um and i also got her some hello kitty masks which will be a cute addition a cat card obviously because she loves cats and then for my trip i got a converter uh, a good old converter because we have to like i said we're going to italy so that'd be um super useful and then one thing that i did get is this daily dose it's a pill case and the only reason i got a pill case is because i'm really bad it has like the individual one i'm really bad at taking my supplements uh, and so it really helps when you reload the pill case um to have them all be in one spot but i think i'm gonna chill for a little bit because i am honestly tired from just like i woke up at 5 a.m you saw that so i think i'm gonna chill for a little bit eat some dinner and wrap up this vlog here i think it's gonna be a pretty good length um and honestly frankly nothing exciting is going to happen because we're at home um so actually before i wrap this up i did want to show you my recent purchases hold on if you if you make it to the end of this vlog you gotta see my recent purchases please hold all right and then my recent purchases um first thing that i purchased are these kyoto uh birkenstocks that look like this um i bought these because my regular ones i have the black leather ones i like th this part is non-existent anymore i wear them like every day to everywhere so i decided to go with a different pair these are suede and i feel like they're the kind that not everyone has um instead of the clogs very like useful for every day but can also be worn to work you know and then my most prized possession I ordered a tote from LL Bin and I engraved, uh, not engraved, what's it called? I uh, got it stitched with ambitious instead of ambitious. I thought this would be a great tote for the summer. It's very thick and it's huge. So it'll be nice to go to the beach and potentially take it with to Italy and just like carry all my shit in it. So I'm a huge fan of reusable totes. I think that'd be a great purchase. Um, and then last but not least, I ordered shoes for lifting. Um, I don't know if I should keep them or not. So these are the ones I got. They were on sale. I just wanted something for the lift classes to be flat. But mm, I don't know. I'm like debating if I should keep them. And I think because I'm debating, I'm not going to keep them. So that's one of those purchases that is um, not going to stay. But yeah, so I'm going to wrap up this vlog and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. So real quick, I wanted to show you my outfit and how obsessed I am with these shoes and how the socks look, okay? I'm wearing just a, a jean shirt from H&M and then some jeans. But look at the shoes with the socks. I'm obsessed. I know it's so basic, but I truly am just in love how these socks look with the jeans and the Doc Martens. So it's when you go to. All right. <laughs>